everyone, so the Dunwich Festival started today and we're at Bell House and we have the sculpture park on display. So the first piece is here by um, a collective called Bath. Some lead encased wood. And then as we come across the lawn at Bell House we have some pieces by Augustus Stickland. Some very um, interesting processes here. We've got some burnt oak and ebonized sycamore or oak. Can't quite remember what material. Sun's coming out as we get to Ikra Arshad's piece. This one's called Let's Take a Walk. And I think you all should down to Bell House. And then we've got a one way system that takes you around here to another one of Augustus Stickland's pieces called Form in Sycamore and I think they actually felled this, uh, this sycamore quite recently because it had a disease so it's fresh and the show's a bit of a treasure hunt because if you're not looking you might miss something we, here we have some pieces by Annie Antoine And I love this one. Fishtail wall vase with some lovely birds visiting it. Ah, this could be you. <laughs> this is called Glory of the Garden by Annie Antoine as well. So let's keep going. So now we're at the back of the Bell House Garden and we have some lovely solitary bee habitat made by Jack Forgery Tatham and a local apiary called Bee Urban. All of these artists are local artists. We'll take a closer look at those in a second. Here we have um, a poppy head series by Kim Parker. It's meant to be the life cycle of a poppy head. Very beautiful work. And there's one nestled here called seed pod, which you might miss if you weren't looking. Another one by Kim. And I'm not sure if this is going to come up on the camera, but on the oak we have some very delicate pieces by Pip Rice, um, which are actually made from the formium plant which is over there. So she made them from this plant. But I'm not sure um, if they would have come up on the camera, so you'll just have to come down and see those a bit more closely. Likewise, over, um, over here we have a sound piece by Rye Poets and David Clark Allen. sound piece um, is called Hive Chat and it's all about potentially what a bee might say if they were in the hive and we could understand them. And talking of bees, here's a, more of a close-up of the solitary bee habitat by Jack Hordry Tatham and Barnaby Shaw from Bee Urban. These pieces are all for sale as well and you can actually open some of them up like this. 
So if a solitary bee nested in there, you'd be able to see them having their dinner. So, now we're heading into the, the foresty bit of Bell House Garden. And we have um, the first part of Isabel Finley's um, through the window piece. So this continues later on as well. Crochet dipped in plaster, very unusual process. And with some handmade chain mail there as well. And then up in the tree to the right, we have some more bird nests made by Pip Rice. And I think some of those are made by the Mel Beckia plant, which I think I've pronounced that right. And then we're coming to the log circle, where we have some pieces by Annie Antoine. This piece is called Wiz. And in the background, we've got Mother Earth. And actually, why don't you come and look at the gorgeous colour in here that's like the blue, the bluebells that surround it. Some lovely purple. That bug has been there since we installed it on Monday, incidentally. visitors and Will Stanley in the hat who made this skelly structure that you're about to see. We're just doing a video for Dolly's festival. Hello. <laughs> Lucky you, eh? <laughs> the person that's photographing shouldn't speak because I've got lots of video. <laughs> so that's 3D printed, I believe. There's a bigger version of that one somewhere else. So we've got the maquette here on display. So, here Isabel Finley's piece is continued, the through the window, very lovely in the dappled sunlight here. fiberglass tiles here by the Chinese Lithuanian artist Ron Hitchens who was around in the 60s and he was a flamenco dancer um, who also made these amazing fiberglass tiles and his house in Hackney is just filled with um, beds, vases, frames that he's clad with these amazing tiles um, so check out the website Ron Hitchens Forget some more of Kim Parker's pieces. They look like exotic plants nestled in the borders. And it's nice to see some of um, some of the works from a different perspective. And last but not least, we have some quilts by the Quilt Academy at Bell House. So today until Sunday the 9th and then Thursday 13th till Sunday 16th and we hope to see you soon. <laughs>